The way you structure your course is also very important when it comes to the optimization of your course. If you want to be getting your course up into the equivalent of the best selling status, if you want to be getting the algorithms picking up your course, there are a couple of tricks uh, that you can play around with from within your instructor's side of the program to help that happen for you. So one of the first things is that you really want to be making sure you're staying on top top of your program. So um, what, what I do is, you'll see here I've got one of my courses open at the moment, is you really want to be looking at is your course structured in a way that's actually working in your favour. So I mentioned in an earlier lecture about how important it is to get the right reviews and how there are there is an internal review system. So that in that internal review system, um, when the student gets to approximately 10% of the way through your course, a pop-up comes up for them which asks them to review the course so far so they have to put in a five star rating and they have the option to comment as well so what we want to be trying to do is making sure that our most popular lectures are actually at the top 10% of our course so that we're encouraging and creating for ourselves the highest opportunity possible to get the highest scores we possibly can because those internal ratings are counted towards when it comes to the system picking up on the popularity and, and engagement of our courses. So one of the ways to do this is to go into your back end, I mean again this is Udemy that I'm showing you, and uh, check out your analytics. And in here you will be able to get a really good idea as to which of your lectures are being watched. So our black dark colour shows how many of our students have actually completed it and uh, how many have finished. So what we're looking at here are, is um, are there lectures which appear to just get completely skipped past? Now you'll always see that obviously at the beginnings they get watched most uh, and then as you go through people don't quite get all the way through the course. This is this is quite normal. But if you are getting um, lectures that are just literally not getting any views at all. So you'll see here that the people who have completed my course have gone all the way through. Um, because if you have got lectures that are being skipped, that is going to affect your overall um, engagement rating in the algorithms. So it might be worth you deleting those those lectures altogether. If you've got ones that are really high, then put those towards the top. Now I don't have any that particularly stand out. If I had some here that were massive, I'd be putting those right at the top end to make sure that I get those high ratings. But I seem to have a pretty fairly even view uh, rating here. And that's kind of what you want to aim for. So that's one way of um, sort of tricking the system, so to speak, in, in a very honest way. Um, and also, you want to be um, making sure that, uh, like I say, you're, you're taking out anything that isn't working for you that the students aren't engaged with. So that's just a little way of making sure that the order of your content works in your favour for getting yourself to that best selling course status.